this is my forks as you can see here these are the Rockshot Recons 29s and 27.5 plus forks the 100 mil in travel as well and it's 110 mil width and axle so they boost it has motion control as you can see here this is where the cable and casing goes in cable goes around here you have your compression and your lockout over here you have your solar air as at the top this is where you got your cable mount and your clamping goes in so this video is about talking about the actual what happens if your axle gets loose so in here you can see there's a screw if I can get the focus in here as you see that's like a I don't know if it's a 2 millimeter or 2.5 millimeter when I bought these forks there was loose and I thought having it like that is very dangerous so at first I assumed could it be tightened because when I first looked at it I couldn't see it clearly so when I looked today I goes hold on a second that definitely could be tightened after tightening it once I pull back it's nice and tight not too tight to cause any damage but it's tight enough to know that once I put my wheel on and I lock it I don't have to worry that if I'm cycling that this part may come loose because when I actually had the Maxwell it was very loose so now once I clamp I can actually feel the actual power now <sighs> did you hear that? did you hear that clunk? that's the way the axle meant to sound let me see if you can this uh, microphone do it justice so I want to pull it around here okay this is a bit hard you should hear this click sound that's nice and tight before you didn't do that before of course you can buy different axles to put into your bike but the ones I needed for um, RockShock are all out of stock where I was been looking so I thought how can I fix this by tightening up that screw it solved the problem so now when I ride I wouldn't have to worry too much about the actual coming loose as I'm riding if I'm going on a trail going somewhere very rough the last thing I want is the axle to be moving and it somehow goes like that. I wouldn't like my axle to be dropping backwards. So after tightening it up, it solves my issue. Of course, I need to wait for my new wheel to come so I can actually install it onto the bike. As they did send me the wrong fork and they said that they listed the wrong information. They said I could get my money back or um, or there's nothing else I could do about it. So I said, because I really need a fork, and this fork was was on a reduced price, so I said, yeah, I don't mind. I'll buy it. So all I gotta do, even though I just literally bought myself a brand new front wheel, I'm gonna have to get rid of a brand new wheel that I just literally paid for so what I would do I will get rid of the wheel that I have and then buy the same wheel back from 100 mil to 110 mil and I'll just put my brand new tires and everything over to that one and once I do that I can put in the tapered headset the EC44 slash 40 with the um the zero stack 44 what we know as zs44 what is 28.6 millimeter circumference at the top and 40 millimeter circumference at the bottom of where my hands are so once i um put that into my specialized rock upper sport 2021 20, model bike what i have in um i think the color is called mountain white once I cut this down and I'm good to go.
So the first thing I'm going to do, I'll put in the, the Hope headset that I have top and bottom. And what you want to do, you want to put the push the forks up into the bike, hold it into the bike, hold it up nice. You want to put the stem on, all your spacers on, so you have an idea where to mark it so you know where to cut. So what you want to do, you want to mark it, okay? The best way for me to mark it, the space I'm going to have, I'm going to have the big hope space at the bottom. I'm going to have the medium one and two smalls. So what I do, I put two small spaces at the top. And what I do, I'll take off the two small spaces. And then what I do, I will cut it and mark it where the two spaces are moved. The reason why for that, because... When the fork goes into the frame and you put your starner or, or the doctor into the bike, when you're tying up the screw, it needs to have space for the headset to pull the fork up so it's nice and tight with no play. So that's what I'm going to do. Once I get the wheel, I've got all the tools ready, everything's ready. And that's how I'm going to do it. So... I really truly wanted the 2021 model as the 21 model looked very incredible. It was really, 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 really cool. So I like the design of the 2021 version. But then again, anything's better than the SR Suntour. So I really put the one lock remote on my bike already. I got the cable and casing that comes with it. All I need to do is just wait for that wheel and then we're ready to ride. Got the rider's weight down here. I've got to do the wrong direction. So, we're looking at the rider's weight, as you can see. I have um, all the weight listings here. The one on the left here is for 80 mil travel forks. This is if you've got 80 mil. It will tell you, do not exceed. 265 psi this one on the right says 100 to 120 psi do not exceed 205 psi because mine's 100 mil i must not exceed 205 for my weight okay i am 93.8 what is that 14.8 10 stones so I'm, so I'm quite heavy so my psi for me would be um 127 psi as i did in the calculator if i was on 80 mil i would have to put much higher but because i'm 100 mil mine's at 127 so i'm literally down in this range <laughs> yeah, so I'm not actually like That's the offset This is the hub 15x110 27.5 Plus And slash 29 At the bottom of the fork You have the rebound that's how it looks like inside. Down there. Okay. Then it also tells you that it's torque cap compatible. Straight down here, these are the post mounts. Minimum 160, maximum up to 200 mil. It is also aluminium stero, so you can easily use a pipe cutter. Pipe cutter will just go straight through, but do not cut your actual stero unless you properly measured. Because once you cut it and you make that mistake, then you're definitely buying new forks again. Always measure properly before you cut. Best thing, advice I can give you. Make sure you put the headset into the bike, 
put the forks in, put the stem, everything on, clamp it all together. Okay, do your marking. So once you put the bike, the forks into the frame, with your headset and everything installed, you also wanna um, put your spacers, your stem, everything you're gonna use, and then you wanna mark it and cut it. So you wanna cut it a little bit. So once you put in your star nut and you tighten, it can go up and it can tighten. That's the advice. Do not cut it by looking by a naked eye. Don't just look at it and think, this should be fine. Measure it properly. Because if you had forks like the the new Rockshop Pikes, the Rockshop Lyric, or the Rockshop Zeb, or you got an out there and you bought yourself um, a Fox fork, or some Manitou forks, or Zochi forks, even if you went for like, like the Mazochi Z200 mils, the last thing you want to do is to spend all that money, look at your fork and be like, oh, it's fine to cut here. Put your fork in, it's too short. Uh-oh, you've got to buy yourself a whole new fork. So make sure you measure everything properly. It's the key thing that you must do when you install forks. Make sure you put it in. Make sure you put your, make sure you put your crown race ring on. So once your crown race ring is sitting here, Make sure your headset installed in your bike. Push it up in there. Hold it up in there. Make sure your top cap is on. Everything. Your spacers, headset, everything. And then measure. Mark it. Once you mark it, then you cut it there. And if it's a little bit too long, then take off at least three millimeters off. And if it looks like it, if you, when you look at it, it goes, yeah, that's perfect. Then you're good to go. So this is a video based on um, how to tighten up a max axle. And this is just extra information if you want to know about. Hopefully, this helps out. And peace out.